casting and ranging variable. So let's clear my output in my console. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a value for double. We're going to make it num1 and give it the value of 5.0. Now I want to do integer num2 and make it double the amount of num1. So we can do num1 times 2. We're going to get an error here because we are multiplying an integer by a double. So like if I try to print num2 out, which is supposed to be 10 because it's an integer, 5 times 2 is 10, it's not going to do that. We're going to get an error. Oh my gosh, how do we fix this? Well, we're just going to cast this, this expression as an integer. And how will we do that? We're just going to put a new set of parentheses before our expression and just write int in there. So it's going to cast it as an integer. So instead of 10.0, we are going to get 10, like we're supposed to. And we get no errors, and it's going to print it out as 10. Yay! Awesome. What if we did this for uh, something else? Let's do integer num1 is equal to 3. And we're going to do double num2 is equal to 5.0. Oh. Actually, let's do 5.2. And I want to do num2 is equal to num2 times num1. So off the top of my head, I know that 5.2 times 3 is 15.6. Now we are multiplying it by an integer. Do I have to cast it? Let's see. Will it work? But da -da -da -da. Yeah, it's, it's actually going to work, so we don't really need to cast it in this case. So not every case with doubles and integers in the same case with the variables that double will we have to cast it. Kind of just when we have an integer and a double is in our expression. But sometimes you may have to use the double cast to convert it to a different data type. Casting a double value to an integer causes the digits to the right of the decimal point to be removed. And value of type double can be rounded to the nearest integer. Uh, by using, I'll show you, uh, integer x plus 0 0.5, not 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So that will round it to the nearest integer up if you need to. And if you want to round it down, you can do uh, integer x minus 0 0.5. Oh my gosh, I cannot type. You guys can't trust me with computer science anymore. Uh, so... Yeah, if you wanted to do that. Now, I've talked about a lot of math in Java, and are there maximum and minimer, minimal, <laughs> minimer, uh, minimal integers that we can have? Yes. So to figure out what that is, we're just going to cast a variable uh, with the value of the max integers. We're going to uh, do integer max equals integer in, uh, not all caps, integer with the capital I spelled all the way out, dot max underscore value. So max and value in all caps, and when I print out system dot out dot print line max, this is the maximum uh, var variable that you can have for an integer. And I have an error because I'm missing a pair of curly braces. Make sure you have your uh, the same pair of curly braces closing as you do opening, because you might get an error like I did. And the reason for this uh, is because there's only like four uh, bytes of memory in Java, so this is the amount of variable that you can have. And doing this so you um, don't have overflow errors, because if you have a variable that is greater than this number, so we ended this in an 8, we would have an overflow error. Now what about the minimum value of integers in Java? Well, we're just going to name this min, because you know, make it more accurate, and we're just going to do integer dot min, oh, it's going to make me do the whole thing, underscore value. So we're going to get the negative version of that very, very long number. I mean, it's not so long if you think about it, how many numbers there are. Uh, and we're going to get the just the negative version of this. And we can increment and decrement this. Uh, actually, let's decrement it because we have a negative, and we're going to subtract the negative from the minimum. We're going to get an error, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get a really, really bad error. I'm just kidding. It's not that bad of an error because we're just going to move from the negative to the positive. So if we did, uh, this is minus 1. If we did minus 2, minus equals 2, this is going to change into, watch, what, watch for it, watch for it, a 6. So it's not going to continue going. It's going to go straight back to the positive and just move down that train from right to left 
uh, until you get to the very end of the left as well. And that is 1.5. That is unit one for AP Computer Science A. So if you made it this far, in the link uh, of the description of this video and all my other AP Science videos, is going to have a Google Doc to my unit one practice test with some multiple choice questions and a free response question uh, with uh, all kinds of crazy stuff that we've covered in unit one. So go check that out. Please like, subscribe. It's free. It really does help me out. The link's in the description down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to have videos for all the units for AP Science A. Really, really fun. See you guys in the next video. Adios.